Hello everybody, my name is Shashank Shekhar. I am Master Teacher of Mathematics at Vedantu. We are presenting solutions for J Advanced previous year's papers. Here I have taken a question of J Advanced 2020 paper 1. Let's have a look. Uh, it is based on uh, the graphical analysis of function, mainly polynomials. It says for a function for a polynomial gx with real coefficients, let mg denote the number of distinct real roots of gx. Suppose capital S is the set of polynomials with real coefficients defined by s is equal to this set of polynomials. S is x square minus one whole square into under bracket a naught plus a one x plus a two x square plus a three x cube. A naught a one a two a three belongs to set of real numbers. Means this second factor is not fixed. S can have, I mean, so many functions as its elements. For a polynomial f, let f dash and f double dash denote its first and second order derivatives as we usually take respectively then the minimum possible value of mf dash plus mf double dash where f belongs to s is means we have to ensure the minimum number of distinct real roots of f dash and f double dash okay you know according to Rolle's theorem which says that between any two roots of a differentiable function fx there exists at least one root of its first derivative f dash so in order to ensure the minimum number of distinct real roots of f dash or f double dash we'll have to ensure the minimum distinct roots of fx okay see how can we think over it okay Uh, fx is equal to x plus 1 whole square x minus x square minus 1 whole square can be written x plus 1 whole square into x minus 1 whole square so minus 1 is a repeated root for fx 1 is also repeated root and in uh, the bracket we have something some polynomial px whose degree is degree of px is less than or equal to 3 if you take px as degree 3 cubic so it will have at least one root so it may increase the number of roots of fx so we should think over the case when px is having no root so fx will have exactly two distinct roots minus one and one although minus one and minus one uh, and one are the repeated roots of fx but the number of distinct roots of fx will be minus one and one so uh, under what case it can happen when px is having no root considering the case when a3 is 0 a2 is 0 a1 is 0 but a0 is not 0 means the polynomial px is a constant non-zero constant polynomial so it is having no real root so in that case the roots of f will be like minus 1 minus 1 is a repeated root 1 and 1 according to rolls f dash will have at least one root between minus 1 and 1 minus 1 that is actually minus 1 only uh, as minus 1 is the root of f uh, minus 1 will also be root of f dash between minus 1 and 1 there will be some root alpha and between 1 and 1 again 1 is a root for f dash and then for f double dash minimum number of roots will be like beta 1 and here beta 2 so finally the minimum possible value of mf dash in this case plus mf double dash is equal to minimum possible is equal to 3 plus 2 that is 5 so answer to this question must be 5 we cannot reduce the minimum number of distinct roots for f dash and f double dash lesser than this okay let's discuss it furthermore 
let us explore other cases when uh, again uh, the answer is 5 and that case is the case when uh, we take the second factor I mean the uh, polynomial px as a quadratic with having with a discriminant less than 0 means having no real root so in case when px is quadratic with discriminant negative again you get px having no real root and so final answer as saying what uh, we have seen in the first case as 5 right yeah in all other cases like if px is cubic or px is a linear function or is a quadratic with real roots the number of real roots of f will increase and it will definitely increase the number of minimum number of distinct real roots of f dash and that of f double dash suppose i take px as linear or cubic at least one root will be there and that root suppose i take same as minus one or one in order to ensure the minimum possible value what will happen f let px is some linear function or cubic function with uh, I mean uh, having roots I mean having roots having roots having root as minus 1 or 1 then see what will happen f will be suppose I am taking minus 1 yeah. so minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 then 1 1 f dash in that case the roots of f dash minus 1 minus 1 alpha 1 then f double dash according to rules so it is minus 1 it is beta 1 and then here beta 2 so mf dash in this case plus mf double dash minimum mf dash in this case is minimum number of distinct roots uh, if I talk about distinct roots it is minus 1 alpha 1 that is 3 and for f double dash it is minus 1 beta 1 and beta 2 that is also 3 so it is 6 so minimum uh, here we are getting uh, number of uh, the, the value of mf dash plus mf double dash even if we have taken the root of linear or cubic as what f already have a root has a its roots minus 1 or 1 in that case also we are getting answer more than 5 so I mean 5 is the minimum possible value of mf dash plus mf double dash and is the final answer isn't it I hope you understood the solution everything is written in the type form also they see you can see and uh, note you can refer this note px is cubic or linear so I mean this is the complete Graphically, you can understand this thing. Same what I have explained. So, stay tuned for next next question. Thank you.